But our top story tonight, predator priests preying on Texas children. Just hours from now, the Archdiocese of San Antonio and leaders across the state in the Catholic Church will reveal the names of clergy accused of abusing children. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos joins us now live from the Catholic Chancellery. And Henry, this bombshell release could shake churches across our area. It certainly could, Jeff and Deborah. And three months ago, Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Sierra said the church had to address this horrible sin. According to this bulletin from a local church, 60 priests will be on that list tomorrow. And local volunteers with the group Survivors Network of those abused by priests say they are ready for the names. Patty Koo. A predator is a predator. Is a volunteer with SNAP. I was suicidal. Uh, because I felt like a worthless mother, a worthless wife. Koo says she was abused at her McAllen Presbyterian Church 19 years ago. Talking about it can be helpful. To which is why she now dedicates her time to a support group for people who have been abused by religious leaders. I'm hoping that with this publicity and looking at the list, um, people will feel validated. She says it is about time Texas and the San Antonio Archdiocese take a more proactive step. We're glad they're doing it, but we're uh, skeptical why we think they may be under some duress. Ku says state and local dioceses may feel pressure to release the names now with allegations coming to light across the country. Horrible scene. Ku says when Archbishop Gustavo spoke in October, she had less than a handful of victims reach out to the group. She feels more may come forward once the list is made public. It's very important for victims to see a list. It, it's healing because um, they don't feel so alone uh, and it may empower them. And this Sunday bulletin from St. Pius X Catholic Church also states that within the last decade, there have been no credible claims. The priest names will date back all the way to 1940. By the way, a commission was recently formed here within the Archdiocese. The group is currently reviewing the way it handles these allegations. Deborah. All right, Henry, thank you.